Nagulat ako. <laughs> Hi, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Matibay baby. Heart attack ako doon. Welcome again to Matibay class. class. Okay. okay. Compound so, interest na tayo. Compound interest? Parang hindi yung topic ko sa college. <laughs> compound interest and our compound interest is Anong module? Module, module 18. 18. Ang bilis. Module 18 na tayo. Again, for module 18, we will be talking about compound interest. And do we have objectives, of course. Ilan? Define a compound interest. And the second is to compute maturity, future value, and the compound interest. Ayan. <laughs> Super duper hyper. And we have our formulas. Okay. But parang mas mahirap yung formula mo? Ay, pareho lang. Pareha. Okay. Uh, maturity value is equal to principal times 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. Where A is our amount, P is our principal, R is our interest rate, N is the number of times interest is compounded per unit. And T and is T our mampintin. Ay, time pala. <laughs> Again, take note, nasabi ko na ito last time, when we are talking about time, dapat it is always in terms of Years. Compound interest yan yung ano ma'am no? Yung, yung pera mo ay yung, yung interest, interest ng pera mag interest, interest pa. Ah, Ayan. So compound interest, gaya ng sinabi ni Sir Jason, yung interest mag interest pa. Ito ang ating formula. So compound interest is equal to F minus P. P. Future value minus yung ating Principal. Ay, kala mo, Fernando minus po. Ang <laughs> pangit. Ang pangit. Sorry. Hindi ko edit yan. <laughs> Sorry na. Okay. And, take note of this. Tandaan po ang table na ito ay magagamit natin. Yes, the so, frequency interest payment per year. Ayan. So, kapag annually siya, ibig sabihin, one year we yun. have one year. And, eh, syempre, ang frequency niya is one. Semi-annually, we have 6 months at the frequency, frequency is 2. Is Kapag two. quarterly mga anak is 3 months and the frequency is 4, while bi-monthly is 2 months and the frequency is 6. Okay? And for monthly, we have 1 month, kaya meron tayong 12. Baka nagtataka sila paano nangyari yun. Siyempre, kapag monthly, 1 month, ilang month bang meron tayo sa isang month? 12. 12. Kapag bi-monthly from the word itself, by 2, two months. months. Every so, 2 months. Every 2 months. Kaya... Meron tayong 6. Okay. So on and, and so, so forth. forth. So para mas maintindihan natin at may apply natin kung ano yung mga nakikita ninyo dito sa ating PowerPoint, let's Pailawin natin ang mga bumbilya. <laughs> <laughs> Examples. Our first example is this one. Ma'am Tintin, will you please read? Find, Find the maturity value and the compound interest of 15,000 compounded quarterly at an interest rate of 5% in 5 years. Okay. Take note of the word compounded quarterly. quarterly. Okay. Let's get our maturity value or amount or ang atinatawag natin A. So let's extract the important values on the problem. Isn't it ma'am? Mm -hmm. Ang hinahanap po natin is A or the amount. So we need to find our P. Okay, we need to find our R, we need to find our N, and we need to find our T, isn't it? On our problem, our principal is equal to, obviously it's 15,000. 15, our rate should be in decimal number, 5%, okay? 5% in decimal number divided by 100, that is equal to 0 0.05. Nakakasunod bang pin? Yes. 0 0.05N, okay? Since sabi po, compounded quarterly, sabi natin kanina, Kapag quarterly, that is equal to 4. four. Okay, so this is 4. And time, in terms of years, that is equal to 5. Five. Okay, with that, we are now ready to solve for our A. A now is equal to P is 15,000 times 1 plus R. Our R is? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. All over N, our N is? 4. 4. Okay, raised to the power of N, N. is 4 times, times 5. 5. Okay, isa-isahin natin. This is 15,000. Okay, dun muna tayo sa exponent. 1 plus 0 0.05. All over 4. 4 times 5 is? 20. 20. Isn't it, ma'am? Yes. Okay, this is now 15,000. Okay. Pagsabay-sabay na natin ito, okay lang ba? Yes. Okay. Close parenthesis, 1 plus, okay, 0 0.05.
divided by 4 close raised to the power of 20. Parang hindi siya pwedeng isabay. Pwede. Kagaya no, kanina. Ayan. So this is, isusulat natin lahat muna mga anak. 1.28, 20, 37, 2, 3, 2. Again, isulat muna natin lahat. Then let's multiply it by 15,000. 15,000. Okay, equal to our A is 19,230.56. Two digits right after the decimal point. Okay, are we clear ma'am? Yes. Okay. Kung tinata ako ang hinahanap natin is the amount. Kapag compounded earth interest naman ma'am, anong gagawin natin? Kung compounded interest, okay, ito minus minus 19,230.56 ima minus lang po natin si yung principal 000. which is 15,000. Okay, so minus 15,000 that is equal to 4,230.56 Okay, compounded interest And this is your amount Or future value Okay, are we clear ma'am? Okay Let's have example number 2 Chris Bar... Ano to? Chris Barrows Chris Barrows, 40,000 And promises to pay the principal and interest At 12% compounded monthly Okay, compounded monthly naman tayo. How much must he repay after 6 years? Okay? So, kailangan pa rin natin si P. Kailangan pa rin natin si R. Kailangan pa rin natin si I. N. And kailangan pa rin natin si P. Okay? Our principal is obviously it. 40,000. Okay? Rate is 12% and that's equal to 0. 0.12. 12. Okay? And compounded monthly, ma'am. Anong sinabi po ng ating frequency 12. kapag monthly? It is 12. Paliwanag po yun. And time is 6. Okay? So, let's have this one. So, ituloy natin. A now is equal to 40,000. Okay? Times 1 plus 0 0.12 all over 12. But 12 times 6 is 72. Ma'am Tintin, bigyan natin ng warning yung iba. Hindi dapat siya idiretso. So, dapat pag times in mo muna exponent. Are we clear, Ma'am Tintin? Equal to, this is 40,000. Ito na ang pwedeng idiretso muna. Yan. Pwede na idiretso yan. Ipangit muna. 1 plus 0 0.12. Okay. Divided by 12 raised to the power of 72. Equal to 2.047. 099312 Then, i-multiply lang po natin yung 40,000 1, 2, 3 Equal to Dumoble siya 81,883.97 So, this is our future value Okay, to compute for the compound interest Compound interest is equal to the future value 81,883.97 I-minus lang po natin yung present value Which is 40,000 Okay, minus 40,000, this is equal to 41,883.97. Okay. Try natin, sir, pag ganito. Try natin, ma'am. Pag tuloy-tuloy. Tuloy-tuloy natin, ma'am, no? Yes. Ito yun, kung pareho. Kung ganito yung calculator mo, pwede tuloy-tuloy. Mm -hmm. Tignan natin. So, this is 40,000, 1, 2, 3, close parenthesis, okay, 1, Plus fraction, 0 0.12 all over 12, okay? Raised to the power of? 7. Raised to the power of? 12 times 6. Okay? 12, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> times 6, okay? Equal <laughs> Cross to? fingers. Okay, so 81,883.97, pareho lang sila. So, dapat talaga, ganito yung calculator mo para tuloy-tuloy. Pero kung ganito yung calculator mo, <laughs> kailangan mo munang dumaan Tuloy-tuloy ang patience. <laughs> Okay, so let's have example number 3, ma'am. Ano pa ba tayong example? Yes, meron pa. Last example tayo, na problem example. <laughs> Saan na? Hindi na sa example number 3. Okay, jo Josh borrowed 3,000 at 3.5 interest rate compounded semi-annually. How much would he pay after 8 months? Ay, wow, maganda tong problem na ito. So, in looking for A, okay, we have to find out our P. Ano pa po? R. Our R. N. Our N. T. And our T. Okay. 
our P is 3,000. Okay? Our R is 3.5%. But 3.5% is also equal to decimal number 3.5 divided by 100. This is equal to 0. 0.035. N is compounded semi-annually. Sabi po ng ating semi-annually, this is equal to 2. Okay? And time is 8 months. Okay? Since months po yung bigay, kailangan po natin siyang i-convert into years. And to convert that into years, divided by 12 divided months. Divided by 12 months. Why 12 months? Because we because, have 12 months in a year. Okay, 12 months in a year. So we have now, 8 divided by 12 is, I sorry na, 8 divided by 12 is equal to? 0 0.67. 0 0.67. Okay na yun naman, no? Kung ganyan. Yes. Okay, 0 0.67. Okay? So, we're now ready to find our A. A is equal to 3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.035. Okay? All over. Okay? What is that? All over 2. Isn't it? Yes. All over 2 times times 2, two times, times 0 0.67. 0 0.67. Okay? Yung pangit na calculator muna, 3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.035 all over 2. But 2 times 0 0.67 is equal to 1.67. 34. Isn't it, Martin Dean? Yes. Okay. So, this is 3,000 times. Ituloy-tuloy po natin ito. 1. 1 plus 0 0.035 divided by 2 raised to the power of 1.34. Isn't it? This is equal to 1.0235. Okay. Times 3,000 equal to? 3,070.56 Okay? This is our future, future value. value. To, combine, to compute for the compound interest, 3,070.56 minus 3,000. Laki ng tubo, ma'am. <laughs> minus 3,000. Maka mag-friends okay. sila. <laughs> Equal to, bakit? 70.56 56. Yun lang po ang kanyang compounded <laughs> interest. Okay, that's all for our day 18. 18. Wow, naka-18 na tayo. Okay, for any question mga anak, andito lang kami, Ma'am Tintin. Matibay ka, kayang-kaya mo yan. Bongga ka, dai.